Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a local environment where you can develop your machine learning projects locally and also use the different um, features that are um, provided by MLflow. So um, this is a very important um, um, video and because we are going to build an environment that would help you to be very efficient. And then this environment will also help you to um, use um, all the libraries that you're familiar with. And you can use this environment for, um, all, for your normal machine learning projects and also your data science workflows. And I'm going to assume um, certain things I'm going to assume that you know how to use Git, Git and GitHub. Um, you know how to clone a repo. Um, I'm also I'm, I'm also going to assume that you know um, some you have some knowledge about Docker and Docker Compose because we will be setting up our the different components of our local environment using Docker and Docker Compose. So um, let's go ahead and then. Um, clone our github repo so so i'm going to go ahead and then type git clone is that you can do this in your terminal or if you have vs code in your vs code terminal so i'm going to click enter now i have cloned my repo and I want to make certain changes to this folder. So I don't like the fact that this, um, our setup files are in a different folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and then copy everything and then put it in this folder. And then I'm going to delete this workbench folder. I'll also go ahead and then delete this git folder because I want to push this um, repo into a different um, into a new um, directory in github so with that those changes I'll go back to my visual studio code and then I'll publish this to a public repo so you have access to all the the code that um, will be written all right so i've published this repo so let's go ahead and then see what is in this um folder so we have some folders in this folder so we have a docker folder and in the docker folder we have a jupyter folder we have mlflow we have postgres and then we have a python dev so the jupyter folder is contains the docker file for certain jupyter labs you can take a look at that the MLflow folder contains the Docker file for setting up MLflow. The Postgres folder contains the Docker file for setting up Postgres. The reason why we need Postgres is because MLflow tracks artifacts, right? And we want um, some storage to store our, the artifacts we are tracking, such that when we, we can see what artifacts we tracked yesterday and the previous day and our previous runs, so when we set up, uh, um, when we start our Docker containers and we take them down, the artifacts are still being saved in some volume that is linked to a Postgres database. And then we have a Python dev, which is the Docker, the Docker file, contains a Docker file for setting up Python 3.8.5. And then we have a notebooks folder, which will contain all the notebooks that we would write. We have a source folder that will contain some source files. We have a test folder that will run some tests. And then we have a Docker Compose file that will build up all the services. So that the service for Jupyter, um, the service for um, MLflow, it will also expose some ports, the service for Postgres. And then we have a make file that will build um, all the different components and all the different um, folders that we need for our local environment. 
we also have a requirements to txt so obviously if you're working with data science and machine learning you would need certain libraries so that if you want to use a library like sgboost i've specified it here so you just specify sgboost and you can add a version if you want i need a tensorflow so i add a tensorflow and then the version i want so you can add your libraries over here and then when you start your local environment those libraries will get installed in your docker containers so let's go ahead and then set up our environment so i'm going to clear my screen and then it's very easy to set up you just type make click enter and as you can see um it seems everything has been set up um i have already I've already set up this local um, environment many times on my computer. So those Docker containers are already existing. That's why it didn't take so much time. But if it is your first uh, um, run, depending on your um, um, internet connection, it's probably going to take some time. So you should probably, yeah, wait. For a long time if this is the first time you are setting this up if you are if you know how to use jupyter notebooks or jupyter labs you already know what this um link does so this opens your jupyter environment so i'm just going to paste this in my um, browser and then go to my jupyter environment so i'm going to paste this in my browser and yeah, so we have um, the data folder. What is important is our notebooks folder where we will write our different um, notebooks the file for um, our different machine learning algorithms in our notebooks. Um, you can also look at the um, the Jupyter, the MLflow um, user interface so we have two tabs experiments and models tab and we will talk about this um, in the later videos to and then you see how this is, is being used so um, that's it for this video I if there is anything else I forgot to talk about I will do that in the next video so how do we stop this so I'm going to create a new terminal and then I'm just going to type make down and then this will remove this will stop all my um, docker containers and remove any network any networks that have been set and also yeah so that's it so that's it for this video and then um, I hope you learned something and see you in the next one